hello guys in this video we will check how to update the drupal core using the composer so drupal always releases the latest version of the drupal with some security patches or some upgrade in the drupal core so for that uh, first i will go to the my website i will check the uh, if there is any available update current drupal core version is a 9.2.6 and the latest recommended version by the Drupal is 9.4.5 so in between there are some security updates in the 9.4.3 and 9.3.19 so I have not downloaded that ok so there are some instructions uh, provided by Drupal in this talk uh, on this page I will add this link in into the description of this video so first uh, read out this instruction carefully so before moving to the updating the core always take the backup of your database and as well as code if anything happen incorrect then you can revert that so you can ch take the SQL backup using the dust SQL dump again read the core release notes which are provided by the Drupal so before updating the core set your website to the maintenance mode so for this uh, this is the command we can set our website as a main maintenance now go to the uh, git bash I, I have git bash in uh, my demo this is the project name demo and I am in a root directory I run that command here to activate the maintenance mode copy this command so right now my website is not in under maintenance it is accessible to the everyone anonymous users also I will uh, run this command after that uh, clear the cache uh, the command for is dust cr it is now rebuilding the cache just wait for cache rebuild is complete now check if the website is uh, under maintenance or not yeah website is in under maintenance now next step is uh, if you determine that uh, some models of the themes needs updating follow the so if you want to update the module or theme of the, your website then follow the instruction from this website next step is determine if your Drupal install require additional step not included in this set of instructions okay. and uh, next step is to run this command so before running this command you need to check if you are using the Drupal core recommendation or not so for that uh, just scroll up and uh, there is one command which will show you if you are using the core uh, Drupal slash core recommendation or not so I am using the uh, Drupal core recommendation like mentioned here if Drupal core recommended is a uh, install this command returns information about the package so after running this command I get this information Hence, means the Drupal core recommendation is installed on my uh, system and if it is not installed it will show the message like package Drupal core recommendation not found so if the Drupal core recommendation recommended 
is installed then run the below command as mentioned here and if it is not uh, installed uh, then run this command composer update drupal core with dependencies so in my system it is installed so i will run this command now it will start the updating my drupal core well so one may, uh, step mention if you did not install drupal 8 via composer and it is not yet converted to composer managed project you will need to do so by following the composer uh, add composer to existing website suppose you have not installed your website using the composer and composer is not working with your website so first you need to add composer to your existing website then only you can perform this update core function so right now the installation is complete it is now updated to the latest version first I will go to the back end of my website and will see if that is updated or not current uh, version is 9.2.6 and I have updated the website let's see if it is updated or not here to this latest version 9.4.5 yeah so it is now updated to the latest version of the Drupal core now read the next step next step will, will be the like uh, brush update DB so run this command brush up db so enter the s After that, run the this command rush cache rebuild. So, short form of this command is rush cr. We will run that command once this. Uh, okay, update db is finished. Now, run the rush cr to rebuild the cache. So after that if you are using config management to deploy your config make sure to export the config with drush cr command after the database update because some core updates may change the structure of the config files or introduce new values to them and again after that uh, check test your website if it is working or not before it is enabled to the maintenance out of maintenance mode now i will first check from my backend the website is uh, accessible to uh, accessible or not so i am able to access the website so um, the all pages are working now i will uh, remove it from the maintenance mode the command to disable the maintenance mode is thus state set system maintenance mode to zero after that clear the cache using the drush cr command After deactivating maintenance mode, test the site also 
uh, accessible to the NNOS user. So uh, that uh, cache dash reveal command is done. We'll check if it if it is accessible to the NNOS user or not. The site is accessible to the NNOS user also. So it means the mm, the Drupal core update share is completed successfully. And if you have a separate dev staging and production servers. Ensure the updated composer.js and composer log files are on the production and always run the composer install no dev on production rather than composer update. So the hyphen hyphen no dev switch keeps the installation of package not entered for use on the production sites. So guys I think uh, if you miss anything you can go back to the video and uh, you can recheck i hope you like the video thank you